Hey guys, this is the Mr. Fire's dad, the big Mr. Fire, backed by popular demand. Today we're going to teach you the sandwich effect that happens not once on the table, but twice in their hand. Your spectator is left speechless. Let's learn how to do it right now. Please drop a like and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Love you guys. What's going on everyone? I'm the Mr. Fire. Welcome back. Um, so hopefully you like that introduction. It's really fun and a uh, lot of fun to perform uh, doing. Took a couple takes, but uh, anyway, uh, hopefully you guys like that. Um, I will be doing my own intros again, so that's cool. If you like that, awesome. If you liked other people doing my intros, thank you for that as well. Uh, that was really fun. And if you comment saying that you liked it, I'll have more members of my family try to do them because it was a lot of fun to film. So anyway, um, this is the sandwich effect that apparently happens twice. One time on the table and one time in someone else's hand. Um, meaning that uh, one time you would spread the cut out on the table and the second time you can actually give it to them and then they spread them out in their hand and it's really unique. So you need uh, two jokers for this. Um, I use uh, these jokers here. There's nothing special about them. Uh, there's one there and there's one there. Um, they're really uh, just cool jokers to have. So we leave those two jokers on a box if I had, but I really don't, so I'll just leave them there. And have anybody select a card. Um, so once the card is looked at and shown off to everybody, the card can then be uh, placed roughly about uh, middle of the pack here, nothing crazy. Just give the pack a bit of a shuffle, and then um, we'll get to work. Uh, you can see that the card wasn't on the bottom if I didn't show it to you. Uh, did I show it to you? I don't think I did. Well, that was the card not on the bottom. And then that was the card. Uh, hopefully your card wasn't on top. And that uh, we just uh, snap our fingers and we actually get the card to go from one spot to the other. And I like the spectators to do this. I get a little joke. I have them do this. And I say, do that. And I say, do you know what you're doing? And they're like, no. I say, you're tickling the air. Gets a small little smirk. And then I have them spread the cards out. And they're amazed at that moment. Just wait. And then I grab up all three cards and I put them on top. And we're going to show that the card is in uh, right there. It's actually trapped into the middle of the pack. And I give these uh, cards to the spectator to hold on to. And then what I'll do is I'll take that card and I'll pop it right in the uh, middle of the pack. And I'll have it disappear as if by magic. And it actually disappears all the way in between the cards again. And they can actually check themselves. This would be in their hand. And then you show that the card is indeed found. So let's learn how this one works, guys. It's really fun to do and really simple. Let's learn right now. Alright guys, so what you're going to need for this pack is uh, two jokers, uh, some prerequisites prerequisites for the trick. What, what the hell are you going to need? Uh, you're going to need those. You're going to have to learn how to control a card, how to do um, how to do a double lift. Uh, no, you don't have to learn how to do a double lift. Yeah, so you're just going to have to know how to control a card. Actually, a really simple trick. So have anybody select any card that they would like. Show that the card is, uh, you know, cleanly, fairly selected. I don't know. Uh, show the card around. You could just have a, someone say stop, show it around, whatever you like. So we'll use the Ace of Clubs. Show it around and I just control it back up to the top of the pack. I'm just using a pass. Once the card is controlled to the top of the deck, you can um, do a double lift. That's what I did, but uh, just to show that the card is on top. That's overproving. But again, you don't have to really do that. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. I didn't even teach you the most important move here, uh, the loading of the card. So this is a really unique load that I came up with. So uh, you come over, you get your break, and you actually show these cards. Now what you're gonna do is normally you square the cards up and put them on like that and pick up and then you do that and then you'll drop and then the cards loaded. I came up with a really unique method. Um, put these over here and show the cards. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna overstep the card and the card's actually gonna be placed here. So it's actually gonna try to be as much aligned with this as possible. And the cool part is, is let's say you overstep it. So let's say you come over here and you overstep it. The, the basis is that if you overstep, look how much over the card is, but you can't see anything. And I'm not saying that you can't see it. You literally can't see it, even if you were to see like that. So the hand actually covers everything. So you're surrounded by all angles. And who the, who the hell does magic like this? So come on, you're, you're surrounded from all angles. And now it's, a, it's as simple as showing the card peeling and then just uh, squaring up the cards and then you're done. And now your card is loaded up in there. So let me show you how awesome it looks as opposed to the other one, the one that you know everyone does. So show the cards offering to people when they uh, join back. So look, there's nothing here, there's nothing there. They're uh, really uh, clean. And then boom, your card's loaded. So comment if you love that, because that I came up with. So let me know if you love it. Have someone pick out a card. In this case, we will use the Ace of Spade. 
Awesome. I love how I did the twirl and it just fell in proper alignment. Um, have the card uh, looked at around to uh, as many people as you want. Pop it back into the middle of the middle. Um, and then once it is uh, on top of the pack here, you can snap your finger, show the card is there. Now you're going to do a switch. Show the cards, put them on top of the pack uh, while maintaining a break on your selection. So have a break, then you snap and then show. I'll grab everything and throw it on top of the pack here. Uh, you're going to pick up everything. So the ace is on the bottom, pick up everything. Show and people who are dumb, as mean as that is to say, people are dumb. So it, it just works this move. You have to just believe it. I'm sorry to say, but you just have to believe it. So this is the part where you show the card. So you're literally just turning your hand over. So you're picking up everything, taking that out, turning your hand over, and just dropping the card. And they actually believe that that's their card. Wait, your card's here. It doesn't make sense, but it just works. Just trust me on that. Now what I like to do is I like to uh, show the cards, because now you're done, because that's the card. That makes so much sense in their mind. Uh, excuse me, please just hold out your hand. Just grab the cards like that. They would do that. And then place uh, their card in quotation marks in the middle. Have it disappear, it's gone. Uh, um, that's that. Let me, let me try doing a Cardini change, even if that would work. Let's see how that would look. Show the card, that was it, and then like that, and then have it disappear. Um, and then it's nowhere to be found, and then they do it this time as cleanly as it can be. And then boom, it is their card. So it's quite an astounding piece of uh, craft. So thank you guys for watching. I'm the Mr. Fire. Please comment sub. Uh, if you're not already sub to the channel and you're brand new, please join in. We would love to have you in the Mr. Fire family and uh, pop on anytime you like. And uh, that's D3 of Diamonds. Awesome. So thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you love these videos. Comment, rate, subscribe, like, all that good stuff, all that fun stuff. Keep a comment running down below so I can talk to you and we can have a beautiful in-depth conversation about life. See you guys in the next one on the Mr. Fire. Have a great day.